guys, welcome to this new tutorial series where we're going to be designing, developing, and deploying a blog with React. That was a bit of a tongue twister. Um, it's going to be a bit different to my other videos because we're going to be using a totally different stack. Um, we're going to be using MongoDB as the database, and we're going to be using the GraphQL specification with Apollo. So, a bit of a background. I have no, like, oh, well, I don't have much experience um, with any of these, but I've I've read over them, I've skimmed through a couple of tutorials. So what I thought I would do is just set myself a challenge where I've got to create a functioning blog. And I just thought I'd document it and you guys can follow along and hopefully we can both um, learn some stuff along the way. Basically the blog's just gonna be a standard blog with your title and description. It's also gonna have categories so we can make it a little bit more complex and learn a bit more. And it's going to have like the user created, time posted, all that standard stuff. I also thought it would be good to have authentication where a user can sign up, log in, and then create a post themselves. And it's also going to have a site wide search where you can search for articles. Then, but to get to begin with, sorry, we're going to be actually designing it and uh, we're going to be using Sketch to do that. So, Sketch is relatively new to me. I'm usually um, a guy that uses Photoshop. But Sketch has just blown my head, blown blown me away at the moment because you can get ideas down so quickly, and it's so much user uh, so much more user friendly than Photoshop. So we're going to be using Sketch to design it. We're going to just be looking online for inspiration and just taking ideas from everywhere, incorporating them into one design. The design isn't you know essentially the biggest part, but it would be nice for it to look decent. Um, yeah, like I said, the back end side of things, we're going to be using MongoDB, GraphQL, Apollo, but we're going to actually go into that in detail when we actually get to that section. And we're going to be using React as the front end, of course, and then we're going to be deploying it using Heroku. And we're also going to be hosting our MongoDB database with MLab. Like I said, we don't really need to worry about any of this for, for now because we just need to get the design done. So I'm going to jump straight into the design. And yeah, so I'll see you back here in the next video. Cheers.